Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will cover accusative prepositions. In a prior presentation, we learned how accusative prepositional phrases function and saw that there are seven accusative prepositions in German. Bis, durch, entlang, für, gegen, ohne, and um. This presentation will explain how to use these prepositions in a sentence. Bis can be used to express until, up to a certain point in time, or by a certain point in time. For example, ich warte bis nächsten Freitag. I will wait until next Friday. The masculine accusative ending on the adjective shows that everything between the preposition and its object is in the accusative case. Bis, meaning as far as, is also used to express a distance up to a certain point. For example, ich fahre bis Berlin. I am driving as far as Berlin. Here there are no adjectives in the phrase to take an accusative ending, although the entire phrase is still in the accusative case. Bis is often used in conjunction with another preposition, which will determine the case of the following object. As we have seen in an earlier presentation, durch means through, as in ich gehe durch den Wald. I go through the forest. Again, the masculine accusative ending on the definite article reveals that everything between the preposition and its object is in the accusative case. Entlang, meaning down or along, is an unusual preposition in that it comes after its object. For example, ich gehe die Straße entlang, I am going down the street or I am going along the street. In some dialects, you may see this preposition with a dative object or used in conjunction with a dative two-way preposition. We will discuss two-way prepositions in a later presentation. The preposition für has the same meaning as English for, as you see in the sentence. Ich kaufe das für meinen Vater. I buy that for my father. I have marked the masculine accusative ending to show you that everything in the prepositional phrase is in the accusative case. Für can also be used to express a duration of time but only when the verb functions independently of the time element. For example, Ich fahre für drei Tage nach Berlin. I am traveling to Berlin for three days. In this sentence, the accusative prepositional phrase relates how long I intend to stay and does not describe the manner in which I drive. However, if the time expression modifies the activity of the verb, then we must use an accusative time expression without the preposition für. For example, ich bleibe drei Tage in Berlin. I am staying three days in Berlin. In this sentence, the accusative time expression provides more information with regards to how long I will be staying in Berlin. The preposition gegen has a lot of meanings. It can mean either against an idea as in wir sind gegen extremismus, we are against extremism, or against a person such as hast du etwas gegen mich? Do you have something against me? Here the first person singular accusative personal pronoun, mich, is the object of the preposition. Gegen can also mean against in the sense of a physical object. For example, sie wirft den Ball gegen die Wand. She throws the ball against the wall. The preposition gegen is also used to express toward, around, or about in time expressions, such as wir kommen gegen 12 Uhr 30. We're coming about 12.30 p.m. Engagen can also be used to express for, as in, ich tausche alt gegen neu. I'm trading in the old for the new. The preposition ohne has the same meaning as the English without, as you see in the sentence, ich fahre ohne meinen Bruder. I'm driving without my brother. Finally, the preposition um can mean either around a physical object, such as, Ich gehe um die Ecke, I am going around the corner. Or, in the case of time expressions, um can mean at a specific point in time, such as, wir kommen um 12.30 Uhr, we are coming at 12.30 p.m. In any case, as you have seen in this presentation, prepositions have nuances and numerous meanings, all of which require time and experience to use correctly. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. 
The video's scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.